already I uploaded a video on this topic. This is a revised version. If you like this tutorial and would like to receive information about new lessons, please subscribe. My channel and blog details are given in the description. They are of some use to the students of economics. And now the lesson. Look at the graph. Y equal to C plus S is the aggregate supply curve. C represents consumption function. C plus I is the aggregate demand curve. At point E1, the aggregate demand curve cuts the aggregate supply curve. The economy is in equilibrium. Y1 is equilibrium income. Aggregate demand is Y1 E1. Aggregate supply is also Y1 E1. Moreover, community's planned consumption spending is Y1 G. Community's planned savings is G E1. Community's planned investment is also G E1. Hence, savings is equal to investment. No other income level will bring about such equality. Consider income Y0. It is less than the equilibrium income Y1. The economy cannot be in equilibrium for the reasons. 1. The aggregate demand Y0 E0 is greater than the aggregate supply Y0 K. Aggregate demand is greater than aggregate supply. 2. The planned savings is DK and planned investment is DE0. Investment is greater than savings. There is excess demand condition in the economy. To meet the excess demand KE0, businessmen will use their inventories. There will be a reduction in inventories. In order to stop further decline in their inventories, businessmen will increase production by undertaking new investment. As a result of this, output, income and employment will increase in the economy. This process will continue till the equilibrium level of income Y1 is restored again. Now consider income Y2. It also cannot be an equilibrium income for the reasons. 1. The aggregate demand is Y2J. The aggregate supply is Y2E2. Aggregate supply is greater than aggregate demand. 2. Community's planned savings is HE2, but planned investment is HJ. Savings is greater than investment. There is excess supply condition in the economy. This unsold part of output is accumulated by businessmen in the form of unintended inventories. In order to avoid further accumulation of unwanted inventories, they will reduce investment. As a result of this, output, income and employment will fall. This process will continue till equilibrium level of income Y1 is re-established again. We shall meet again in the next lesson.